What's up guys, it's Griffin Steinfeld. Crews out here to Banks Power today to get some more horsepower in my 2017 Denali HD. It's got the Duramax 6.6 liter L5P motor in it. We just trapped it down on the dyno to do a baseline run. And then after that, we're gonna pull it in the shop, put the Derringer on it, turn it up to level six, install the Ram Air intake and Monster exhaust, bring it back out, do another dyno run, check out the before and after to see how much power we gained. So sit down, buckle up and enjoy the ride. All right guys, so we got Curtis in my truck on the dyno right now. And I wanna show you the little setup we got going on. We have 2,000 pounds of sand in the bed. All right, there's a pull. So we have 2,000 pounds of sand in the bed to make sure there's no tire spin for accurate readings. And this is the coolest part. The Banks wind machine is actually producing about 50 to 60 miles an hour worth of wind to simulate the truck going down the highway. This thing's crazy. I mean, like, it's got a lot of air. So Curtis is in there. We're gonna do a couple of pulls to establish a baseline. Once we do that, we're gonna take everything off, bring the truck in the shop, install the Derringer, the, uh, the intake, and the Monster exhaust, bring it all back out, and do it again on full power to see the gains. All right, so on our baseline pull, we need 401.9 horsepower and 885.9 foot-pounds of torque. Completely stopped. So let's get this thing off, get it in the shop, and go find some more horsepower. All righty, let's get this thing into the shop so we can get out with the old and in with the new. All right, we got all the Banks goodies installed. Let's go into the hood and take a look. So right here, we got our Banks Derringer tuner. This guy adds 60, 61 horsepower and 112 foot-pounds of torque. It communicates with our two I-dash gauges inside the truck, data logs, monitors, everything I wanna know about the truck. Uh, move over here to power outer number two. Here's the Banks Ram Air intake. This guy adds uh, about 20 horsepower for a total gain of 80. Contrary to popular belief, most of the air is not coming from the hood and down into the air box. In fact, it's coming from underneath the truck where this, the stock air box doesn't breathe from and in the fender well where this huge gap isn't cut out. They only have this little hole. So that's why the bank's intake really shines. It takes advantage of all that extra airflow and brings it into the engine for 20 extra horsepower. Now let's take a walk out back to check out some of the exterior jewelry. Now this is the Banks Monster 5-inch exhaust. Probably one of my favorite pieces here. It is so pretty. It goes with the truck and it really is like a cherry on top of the cake if you ask me. 5 inches in diameter, a lot more flow, and the best part is when this truck's in regen, producing five, six, seven hundred plus degree air out of the tailpipe, it's not blowing on my trailer. It pushes it out around the side of the truck, around the trailer. So now I don't have to worry about cooking my trailer. With that being said, let's get this bad boy strapped on the dyno and see what this thing does turned up. All right, we're going to the dyno. I feel like a kid on Christmas right now. We opened all the presents. We're gonna go play with them for the first time. All right, so the numbers to beat are 401.9 horsepower and 885.9 foot-pounds of torque. So we're back on the dyno. We have the Derringer installed on level six. We have the Ram Air intake and the Monster exhaust. So let's run this thing up and see what she does. All right, here we go. Derringer is up on level six. We got the Ram Air intake installed. 
The front fan's blowing at full speed. We got the monster exhaust. Let's do it. Massive games, best money I've spent, man. I'm happy. 